So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the Ford emergency braking light that's always on and some of the basic causes and fixes for this. And so as many know, many newer Nissans have an emergency braking system. And when it's enabled, it comes up with a little warning light on the dashboard. It'll have a little symbol of one vehicle coming up behind another vehicle with a little star over it kind of looking thing. And while this will come on, if another vehicle is too close, it should go off. It shouldn't be on all the time. So if it is on all the time, then there's an issue and have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some of the main causes for this could be a blowing fuse, the radar sensor could be having a problem, or it could be a bad wiring connection. Those are the main basic things that cause this system to fail. And so first thing to do, go check for any blowing fuses. If you have a blowing fuse that's on the circuit, then it can cause issues. So be sure there's no blowing fuses. And the next thing that can be checked is the radar sensor itself. And it's located up in front of the vehicle. It'll be behind the Nissan emblem on the very front. The bumper will have to be removed to completely remove the sensor but you will be able to look down there and see it and it'll just be a little square box looking thing it'll have like three bolts on it and a wiring harness and the first thing to do is be sure that wiring harness is plugged all the way in and that there's no issues there because any problem with the wiring open short bad connection anything like this is going to cause issues so you want to check that and be sure that all looks good and if that all looks good one thing about these sensors is that they got to be level so if anything came up and hit it like a rock or anything like this and knocked it off its level then it's going to have to be restrained out if it really got damaged good you might have to bend these brackets and try to get as level as possible to get it back to being level because that's the main issue with these is if they're not level then they don't work properly and sometimes these can fail and many people they do replace these they even sell them on amazon i'll show you real quick how much they cost and what they're looking like they're ranging around 129 to 172 right now and so while you can get these and replace them one problem with that is that sometimes they need to be recalibrated even if you put a new one in and it's completely level when these are recalibrated it detects a slight angle of how much it's off and things like this so sometimes they'll need to be recalibrated and only a dealership or a professional mechanic shop will have the equipment able to do that so while you might be able to get away with just replace a one it'll be a 50 50 shot whether or not you have to go take it in and get it recalibrated or not that's the one issue with the car owner replacing one of these and one thing to mention is that on some nissans you can disable this system and it'll revert back to like standard braking even though there can't be some variations on this sometimes you turn it off and it'll come back on when you turn the vehicle off and then back on sometimes this automatically comes back on but if you want to check to see if you can disable it on the dashboard use the buttons you go to settings go to driver assistance you go to emergency brake and then there'll be some options in there if you can enable or disable it and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of what's going on when the nissan ford emergency braking light is always on and some of the possible causes and fixes if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day